Hey everyone, the David S. here, bringing you lifestyle, luxury, and fashion-related content. If you like these types of videos, go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of today's video. Other than that, let's jump right into this video. Guys, today we're going over the Bottega Veneta hype. Is it worth the hype? Is it not? I have two bags here to show you, and we're just gonna dive in a little deeper, see what's going on with Bottega and why we've been seeing it everywhere. So back in 2018, June of 2018, Daniel Lee, which is a creative director now of Bottega, was um, appointed as creative director for the house. And prior to that year, prior to 2018, I remember seeing Bottega Veneta and I was very much a fan of Bottega. And I know they were they were big on their weaved items and you know they had duffel bags, they had wallets, they had bags. Everything was all weaved. It was really black, browns and very subtle to say the least. Um, it was super subtle. It was one of those things that if you knew, you knew. I did want, I'm not gonna lie, back uh, in the day, I did want a Bottega Veneta duffel bag with the, the classic weaving in it. I did think that was a really, really, really good bag. Um, and I saw it actually in person, but I just never really pulled the trigger on it. Only because back in the day when I was shopping prior to 2018, I didn't have unlimited funds in order to just be dropping $2,000 on a duffel bag at the time especially something that I'm not gonna lie if I was paying that amount for something back in the day I wanted to at least to say something some branding that was just my vibe back in the day uh, if I was spending a specific amount on a bag I wanted to say what the 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 brand was I, that's just a personal thing of mine at the end of the day but uh, back then I did I was a fan of Bottega just not as much as I am now so a little spoiler alert I have fallen into the Bottega hype I know I know I'm going to be you know add me onto the list of other people on Instagram who's fallen in love with the Bottega hype in spring summer of 2019 so that show which was I believe in the fall time of 2018 Daniel Lee revived the pouch bag, which apparently the, the pouch bag back in the day for Bottega like did very well, very, very well. I'm not 100% sure on the year that it came out from its previous um, creative director who did make the bag, but I do know that it did very well. I was doing my research prior to this video, so I have some facts over here for you guys. And uh, the pouch bag, which we'll dive into a little bit later, was an instant it bag. The first bag we're going to be talking about is the Bottega Veneta pouch. So the pouch bag has been introduced prior to Daniel Lee and it was once an it bag and it was one of those bags that came out, everyone wanted it, and then it just kind of disappeared and no one really talked about it. I'm not 100% sure of when the pouch bag came out, uh, but I do know it was very successful for Bottega Veneta. Speaking of the pouch bag, I have two Bottega Veneta items here with me. As you can tell, one bag is bigger than the other one. And these bags, so I, as a little backstory, I, once Bottega came out and kind of revived from the dead, as I like to call it, the I did not want to fall into the hype, into trends. I thought it was going to be one of those things that was super trendy for the moment, and then it would pass. And then we kind of just had all these expensive leather items just sitting around for the next who knows how many years. But I did, I did fall into the hype. Once I saw these bags, I said immediately, I need these. Only because I've been hunting them down. I've been kind of stalking them for a couple months now. I would even say about a year or so now. But I did, one of these items, uh, I did find on sale for 50% off, so I knew I had to pull the trigger on it immediately. And the other one, unfortunately, I did pay full price for. My first Bottega item that I did purchase was this small pouch bag in the nail polish color i'll point it up to the camera here and this one is in the classic bottega weaving 
and it opens just like this here. I have it stuffed with paper just so it doesn't lose its shape. I do this with all my bags in here. It's relatively a great size. Like you may think like this bag is tiny, but it actually fits a lot of things. It does fit my phone. I have the Apple 11 Pro Max. It fits my wallet in here. It fits quite a few things. I do love this as a as an evening bag, a going out bag, only because I can crossbody it here. And this little crossbody strap, to be honest, it's a piece of leather. It's a piece of leather strung through the bag. But what I do like is that it is thin and it's not like a thick strap. Uh, I can remove this. This is removable, as you can see here. It has a little knot here, and the bag came like this, by the way. Um, and it has another little knot here. Once I undo those, I can just pull it out and use it as an evening clutch as well. I have used it both as clutch and as a crossbody bag, and to be honest, I have no complaints with this bag. I would give it about a 9 out of 10 as far as rating concern, only because this bag is weaved, so anytime anything will get caught under here, personally, I just feel like the bag is going to rip, and it's one of those things that's a little delicate, but at the same time, it's leather, and you can just toss around, um, and you know, it'll just look brand new. But I do expect to have this in my collection for a very long time, only because it's so easy to use, and it is a pop of color. I do prefer bags as pops of colors when they're much smaller instead of committing to a much bigger bag. The next item, uh, Bottega, that I own is the Classic Pouch. Now, I know you guys have seen this on Instagram all over the place. Celebs like uh, Rosie Huntington Whitley have this bag, Hailey Bieber, Kylie Jenner, all those girls, they all have this specific bag. As I mentioned before, I purchased one of these items at a discount. This was the one that was discounted. I did find this for 50% off on a uh, retail site. And once I saw the price, I said immediately I'm going to jump. Because the bag does retail nowadays for 2790 I believe. And after tax, I do think the bag is about $3,000. Personally, I feel like that is crazy. $3,000 for this specific bag. I get you're paying for quality, craftsmanship, all of that. But if we really dive into the bag, it's a piece of leather. It's a piece of leather that looks like a wonton. And there's not much really to it. But I do think spending $3,000, I'd rather buy, for example, a, a mini classic flat from Chanel. Um, instead of purchasing this full price and i have seen this specific bag and i also the uh the small weaved one as well at a discount they're kind of rare to come by because i asked once uh, a uh, sales rep if this was included in any promotional offers and they had told me bottega is not included in any promotional offers for example discount codes or anything like that worldwide um, so that means that the retailer has to mark the item at a discount in order for you to receive the item as a discount opposed to finding a coupon code for it. This specific bag, I have not used it yet, but I have a feeling that I'm going to like this one as much as I like my mini weaved uh, pouch bag, only because I feel like this, you could just tuck it into the arm just like this. I can even wear it with this outfit that I'm wearing to today. Just a blazer, a simple top on the inside, and just like throw around my clutch, and here we go. For both bags, I love the non-branding. I know I wanted to, to get one weave and one regular as well um, with no weaving here, just so I have the kind of the best of both worlds. Um, you know, I have a classic weave, and I also have kind of the new Bottega in the sleek style. I did want this color out of all colors only because I do think this is a really great neutral and I know I'm just going to get a lot of wear out of it, especially with my wardrobe and some certain things. Overall, I'm a fan of the pouch bags. I started having Bottega fever back in, I want to say 2019, back towards the winter time of 2019 when I saw actually this bag plastered all over the place. I don't know if it was gifted to influencers or they were just trying to push the bag and you know everyone was purchasing the item. 
Um, I remember back in the day, it was, back in the day as if it was such a long time ago, um, I did try to call a Bottega store to see if that this specific bag was available, but at the time, as I mentioned, I wasn't willing to drop, and these have quite a couple of price increases. I know this one retails for $27.90, and then this one, I believe, is $17.90 now, right as of today. Um, they did have quite a few price increases over the past couple months or so, and the prices are so slowly starting to creep up. And fast forward to the fall of 2020, my boyfriend had purchased for himself the padded cassette. Now, the padded cassette, which I'll insert a picture right here, and he actually purchased the same exact color, uh, was, I thought, was a super chic bag. It was one of those things that it was between, a mix between classic Bottega weaving, but also incorporating that new, fresh Daniel Lee element uh, into the bag what, with making the weaving much larger and padded as well. And I do think that aspect was very aesthetically pleasing and it's it, it looked very seamless with any outfit. I went from 2019 trying to buy the pouch bag all the way to about September 2020, I wanna say, that my boyfriend had purchased that specific bag and I believe he paid around 2500 before tax and after tax it came out to like something like 2700 uh for that that specific bag and i just remember at the time saying to myself like wow i really want that bag but the colors that they had at the time was the brown and i didn't want to get the brown already because he had the brown and it just i just don't think that both of us having the same exact bag and the same exact colors was any fun um it's like ordering two of the same things at, at a restaurant it's like why even i kind of held off and at the time i was also seeing it on some retail sites having discount codes on that specific bag so i said you know what i'm not gonna get it now i'm just gonna write it out and i'll i'll just you know i kind of put it on the back burner but i always knew that i loved the bag and you know even to this day when he does wear it I always admire the bag because it, it is an item that I do want. I loved that that bag, it had a little versatility to it as far as I already knew how I was going to style it um, with the strap tucked in as like a little clutch, I could wear it with the strap as well, it would pair great with all other items in my closet as well. In addition to that, I will note, so I would mentioned that my boyfriend had purchased the bag for about $2,500, do not quote me on that, and that was September of 2020. Fast forward to now, the price of the bag is $3,200. I know they went, they had a price increase from, I believe it was $2,500 to $2,900, I believe it was. Or they went from $25 to $27 to $29, and now they're at $3,200. And once I saw the new price, I kind of froze and was like, we are not charging $3,200 for that bag. Like I get, I get, you know, the price of everything is increasing with, you know, the current state of the world and everything. The luxury market has hiked up prices like crazy. If you guys haven't seen Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Saint Laurent, and now Bottega, it's getting a little crazy because think about it. September was not even a year ago and we're already increasing prices like crazy like that. I just think $3,200, for me to pay that amount out of pocket, full price, after tax, I do think it's going to come out to like $3,400 or $3,500, and that's where I draw the line. I, personally, I don't think the bag is worth it for me, personally, at that point, to splurge for $3,200 on that specific bag, although I love it and everything. I just think I can... As I mentioned earlier, I just think I could just buy a Chanel, a mini classic flap for that same amount of money. I believe the classic flaps, uh, the mini classic flaps are a little more expensive, but I'd rather tack on a couple dollars on there and just purchase that back at the end of the day. I do think that once it gets to a specific price point, although you love the item, it just gets to a point where you just aren't willing to spend that amount of money on, on that specific bag. The other item that I've been going back and forth with myself for the past couple months as well is the Bottega Veneta Mini Jody bag. 
Now, the Mini Jody is one of those bags that kind of reminds me of this one, only because it has a small weaving throughout the bag. And as well, it has that little knot element on it that it just, it just looks so chic to me. And that's one thing that I will say with New Bottega and the change of aesthetic that they've had. It, these bags are so chic, even their clothing. Their clothing, I love, I love, I love their clothing. But like I said, it's one of those things that once you reach a certain price point, I'm just not willing to spend it on that amount because I just don't think it's worth it. But I will say out of the two items that I do have and items that I do want, if I find them on sale, I'm grabbing them. I'm grabbing them and nobody say anything. I will probably bring them onto the channel. We'll do a little unboxing, we'll do a little review, but I don't wanna hear it. Don't ask me how much I paid. Well, I'll probably tell you guys how much I paid, um, but just know if I purchase those items, they will not be at retail. I'm not that rich just yet, fingers crossed. The Jody is no exception. I know the, exactly the color I want and the color is Fondante and it's about that deep brown color. It actually is the same color of the patty cassette that my boyfriend has and once again for aesthetic purposes i just think that both of those two bags together think the brown patty cassette with the brown mini jody oh, that'd make a great picture i would just be an influencer at that point wow what a vibe what a vibe but i know i want that color or i did see now for their upcoming spring summer i think it is they came out with a gray version of the bag i have not seen that that one in person just yet but i think a gray bag into my collection would be a great addition because i don't have any gray bags but at the same time it's like a very muted gray so it might just stand out a little bit too much depending on the outfit you're wearing but I do think I'm torn between the gray and the Fondante color, which is the deep brown as well. The mini, also, I'll just throw that in there. It retails for about $17.90, and I think I'm not 100% sure, but they did have a price increase on that one as well. Oh, yes, they did have a price increase on that one. It is now $1,900, which it's about $110 more than its original pricing, but on some sites, they do have it priced for $17.90. And $110, it doesn't sound that bad, but it's starting to slowly creep up to that $2,000 mark. And as I mentioned, once it gets to that point, it's a no-go for me. As far as paying, paying full price, of course. As far as Bottega shoes and ready-to-wear, ready-to-wear, 10 out of 10. I do think aesthetically the clothes are beautiful and also they just have such a quality look to them. I have touched Bottega clothing before. I've kind of thrown out a jacket on before at the store but it's one of those things that it's ready to wear at the same time. I'm still kind of like that when I mentioned before that if I want to spend a certain amount of money on something I wanted to at least have some branding on it. That's changed as far as bags go because, for example, this bag, it's one of those bags that if you know, you know. You know what it is. Um, you could just tell, you know, this is Bottega. Anyone that's interested or loves luxury fashion will know this bag is the Bottega Veneta pouch bag. You know, automatically, you know what we're talking about. But the clothing is a little bit different of a story. It's one of those things that it kind of, if you know, you know, but at the same time, even if you know, you'll probably won't know what it is. Since they're ready to wear is one of those things that it doesn't have any type of branding. It's not, you know, they don't have Bottega Veneta plastered all over. They don't have like weaved shirts or weaved jackets, although a weaved leather Bottega blazer, <laughs> put me on the creative team. <laughs> That will sell, that will sell. And I think that would look bomb. But as far as their clothing goes, unfortunately, I will have to pass on at the moment only because I don't think it's really worth it for the price point. As far as the shoes, now, the shoes. I, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like Bottega has better women's shoes than men's shoes only because the two shoes that really 
have come out uh, for Bottega and that have done really well is one, the Bottega Tire Boot. And if you watched my 2021 luxury wish list, you'll know that those Bottega Tire Boots are on that wish list. I'll leave that video linked down below as well, just so you guys can take a look at that after this one. The Tire Boot has done really well ever since it's come out and also the Puddle Boot. I think that's what they call it. It's the Bottega Veneta Puddle Boot, and I have tried those on in person at the store, and I look crazy in them. I get that they're supposed to be more of a rain boot, and something that you wear, you know, for basically aesthetic purposes only. They're, I guess, kind of functional. I love the aspect, though, that they are made of recycled items as well. Um, you know, I'm all about saving the environment and all of that. But I just do think that the boot itself was chunky and very round at the front, so it wasn't for me. The tire boots, fingers crossed, I am looking to add that into my collection within the next couple months or so, definitely before the fall time hits. The question still remains, either Bottega, timeless or trendy, or is Bottega worth the hype at the moment? And personally for me, I'm going to say Bottega Veneta is worth the hype and also that it is one of those things that is very timeless only because one, the brand has been around for decades now, decades, decades, decades upon decades, and it doesn't seem like anyone is slowing down Daniel Lee. So I do think that these are going to be items that one, we're going to look back on and be like, wow, we really splurged on these pouches. <laughs> We really splurge, splurge on these pouches with no branding. It's gonna be one of those things that we're gonna look back on. It's gonna mark the time period. We're gonna be like, wow, we were just so chic back in the day. I do think that these are the items that I can pull out tomorrow or in five years from now, because as I mentioned, they have no branding. They're not specific to the time, which is what I love about Bottega. And I do think that aspect is making them very timeless at the moment. In addition to that, let's not forget that these bags, you can feel the quality on them. You can feel how soft the leather is and you can feel how on each bag, a lot of time and effort was put into it. And I have seen how they make um, the Bottega weaving pattern and it's mesmerizing to say the least. But I do think it's worth the hype I told myself I wasn't going to fall into the trap of the Bottega hype, but here we are, two bags, and I'm manifesting the Mini Jody and also the padded cassette into my collection. So hopefully later on we'll have that on the channel. I'll show you guys what's to come. Guys, if you like this video, go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think down below. Do you like Bottega? Do you hate Bottega? What are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comment section and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.